This is your boy Evo, so the JTC is on the move. I'm over here with my man, Pastor Paul Ibarra. The topic today is set free to serve. What does it mean to you to be set free to serve? So how, but let me ask you, we were talking about set free to serve, how God has saved us so we can serve. Out of all that was talked about, about service, what stuck out to you the most? A lot of people think that they can do something incredible to serve. But as people started dialing in and asking questions, we were in the moment of service and not even knowing what we were doing. Wow. You're a beast, Paul. That's all I'm saying. And that's a good beast. Amen. The Bible talks about good beasts. Ain't no, no mark of the beast. No mark of the beast. Good beast. Oh. Jesus said in 23, uh, Matthew 23, 11, the greatest among you are your servants. I believe that Set free to serve means first is three points I have. First, you must understand what qualifies you to be saved, which is the blood. Period. Remember who the son says free is free. Is free. So right. I'm going to do, um, talk should, about what we're talking about. It's going to be like, boom, this is what I feel set free to serve means. Oh, this, where am I at? I'm at the, uh, we, we got, we got a name. Remember who the son says free is free indeed. Mm. Yeah. You can at least roll with that for yeah. a minute and then when you want to change it up, but who the sun sets free? Remember, if who the sun indeed. sets free is free indeed. I'm out. Or whatever you say. Yeah, you know, yeah, big yeah. peace, stop peace. We you know like LA, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> what's it called? Whatever you want to do. But that's what hit me yesterday. Remember, who the sun sets free is free indeed. The Apostle Paul had religion, which his name was Saul, but he didn't have Christ. He didn't have the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to move him into a place that God wanted to take him. When we think about it, is that you have life in you. Uh, what life? The Holy Spirit is on the inside of you. I know we say that at times, but I really sometimes don't think we really recognize what we're saying, but he lives on the inside of you. And in him who you live, move, and have your being. So you have life regardless of the circumstances. You cannot serve and be condemned at the same time. Self-condemnation, the enemy, the accuser, accusing you of stuff. <clears throat> you have to be set free to serve. So there's no condemnation. What you say is a result of what you are thinking. You know, Romans, uh, I believe it's 12, 2, talking about being transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, present your body a living sacrifice. Transform. What does this transforming mean? Taking on the mind of Christ. He knew the word of God. He was a teacher. He did it all. But the one thing that he didn't have to have the empowerment that Christ can give him. So on the road to Damascus, his life got radically changed with the one thing that he thought was all for God was really truly turned around for, to something internal. You are living in the best times to give life. Ministry is about helping. If you don't have to help nobody, you don't need ministry. If you look at the news and what's going on, it looks real depressing. Guess what? That's a green light. Green. For us to let our light shine, to give people hope. After that, he had a heart to go and reach the nation. That to me is being set free to serve. Going out, reaching others, not only serving God by loving God in our homes and in our church, but actually going out into the public to reach those who are lost. This is your boy E. Wilson with a quick synopsis. Set free to serve, that's what it means to me. We're going to have a conversation, make it a good one. We'll be right back. This is Pastor Paul once again, and this is another Daily Nugget.